Hello everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Jenny and I'm a part of the education team at Medit. Nice to meet you everyone. And today we have Dr. Kim here. Hi Jenny and welcome everyone. It is a pleasure to be here again. Thank you for having me today. Yeah, how are you doctor? I'm good. I just finished the treatment and as always, we are conducting all the work process with digital procedure. What about you? I'm also doing great. Thank you for asking. It was really nice to meet you in person this time. Oh yeah, it was nice to meet you in Rio. Actually, Jenny came to our clinic to hand over something to me. Yeah. Last week, I visited Dr. Kim's clinic and it was neat, clean, and I found all the facility that all this lab work was done in-house. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to introduce Dr. Kim's clinic through YouTube. So I took a short clip about the clinic. I'm very excited to see how you had presented our clinic. Yeah, everyone must have been so curious how Dr. Kim's clinic might look like. So I went to the place instead. I hope everyone's curiosity has been satisfied with this short clip. I'll be updating soon, so please stay tuned. Yeah, and let's talk about today's topic. This time you had prepared a webinar about I-900, right? Yeah, I had been using MediScanner for the years, and I am so happy to make some comparisons about all the scanners starting from I-500. I know some history and changes, so I hope this helps everyone choose a scanner that best fits their situation. Yeah, I believe Dr. Kim is the best person to explain the differences, pros and cons of the scanners, so I'm very curious. So, shall we get started right away, Doctor? Sure. Introduction to Medit's latest scanner model, I-900. Today, we will explore the latest scanner model from Medit, the I-900. In this video, we will closely examine the features and advantages of the I-900 by comparing it with previous models like the I-500, I-600, and I-700. 1. Scanner Weight Comparison Let's first look at the weight of the scanner. The weight of the scanner without the cable is listed in the chart. The I-600 and I-700 have the same weight. The weight of the cable is also important during actual scanning. The reason we measure weight with the cable connected is to understand the actual weight felt during scanning. For the I-700, the difference between wireless and wired is only 30 grams. However, compared to the I-700 with the cable connected, the I-900 is 100 grams lighter. This 100 grams difference, equivalent to the weight of a small apple, an orange, or a bagel, provides a noticeable difference during use. Weight Center The I-500, while heavy, has a longer length which positions its center of gravity towards the front. However, the grip is thick requiring it to be held from the front, close to the tip, which creates a noticeable difference in the balance. The I-700 has its center of gravity towards the back with the grip positioned at the front. For the wireless model, the battery is located at the back, making the center of gravity relatively further back compared to the wired model. In contrast, the I-900 has a thinner grip and a smaller size, aligning the grip point with the center of gravity along the same line, which significantly enhances comfort during use. 2. 
scanner size and cable handling. There are also differences in the size of the scanner. The i500 was uncomfortable to hold in one hand. When the i700 was introduced, its ease of handling with one hand was a significant change and was well received in the market. The i900 has become even smaller, about the size of a banana, which has improved grip. Another aspect to consider alongside weight and grip is the flexibility of the cable. The i500's cable felt softer than the i700. Although the wired i700 was slightly lighter, the inconvenience of the cable getting in the way made the wireless i700 more popular. The i900 model features a cable that is softer and less intrusive. Therefore, we measured the thickness of the cables. I-500 is 5.1 millimeters, I-700 is 5.6 millimeters, and I-900 is 3.5 millimeters, making the I-900 the thinnest. The area is proportional to the square, so I calculated the ratio based on the I-700 and made it a table. Based on the I-700, the I-500 is 17% softer, and the I-900 is 61% softer. Additionally, the I-900 has touch band that encompass 360 degrees, allowing for easy operation from any grip direction. Other models have the Start Scan button in one location, which means you need to adjust your grip to stop the scan, which can be inconvenient. This design eliminates the need to rotate the scanner tip to fit. 3. Scanning speed and performance. Scanning involves piecing together one image after another, requiring about 30% overlap for proper alignment. This needs to be considered when adjusting movement speed. The larger the image, the faster you can scan. As the product line has evolved, the field of view has gradually increased. Based on the I-700, the I-900 area has increased by approximately 38%. Theoretically, this should reduce the time it takes to scan the same area. In practice, what surprised us in our tests was that the i500 scanning speed was quite competitive. Scanning speed is influenced by the algorithm that stitches images together and removes peripheral noise, as well as the performance of the computer. Although the scanner hardware remains the same, Software updates and improved computer performance have allowed for seamless scanning. The i600 and i700 felt twice as fast as the i500 at the beginning of their scans.
the final scanning speed showed an average improvement of 42%. However, the I-900, with its larger field of view, did not show a significant difference from the I-600 or I-700 initially because users accustomed to the older models were using the I-900 at the same speed. It didn't take long for users to adapt to the faster movement speed of the I-900. after which the scanning speed improved by an average of 31%. This can be linked to the fact that the I-900's field of view is 38% larger. In occlusal relationship scanning, although the duration is short and may seem to have little difference, the I-900's larger field of view allows for easier alignment with just slight movements. The enlargement of the I-900's tip has improved tooth capture during mandibular movements, leading to enhanced tooth recognition rates. Metal scanning. For metal parts, such as PFM, a separate video segment highlighting how the new I-900 scanner recognizes metal parts without delay would be insightful. The immediate recognition of metal parts by the I-900 is particularly impressive. Jingival bleeding scan improvement with I-900. In cases with Jingival bleeding, scanning with the I-700 often did not properly capture the margin areas, requiring time for hemostasis. However, when scanning with the I-900, there were no difficulties, and the scan was successful. These improvements can be attributed to the i900's 10-bit camera specifications, which reduce scan data noise and produce more colorful and detailed results, enhancing scans of bleeding areas and metal reflections. Conclusion The i900 model has undergone significant improvements, becoming lighter with a larger field of view and faster scanning speeds and data accuracy. Additionally, the cable has become lighter and softer, and the thickness has been reduced, significantly enhancing ease of use. The fact that metals are captured well and bleeding has less impact is something you can quickly feel when using the device. These are the aspects that make the i900 a promising device for the future. Okay, that's all about it for today. So you'll be able to watch this webinar on our YouTube channel and Medit Academy once it's completed. Thank you for being here, Dr. Kim. Thanks everyone for joining us today. Hope to see you at our next webinar. Bye. Bye.